Good morning everyone. This is an update on our um, rock wall and raised bed project. There's a couple other videos out there that I'll send you links to to show you the before and after and durings. But we have uh, done some planting. Uh, a lot of shade loving plants because this area out here only gets uh, about three hours of sun each day from like one to four. Um, update wise also I redid this area the rock wall you see in the other videos it didn't look really good the way it was so I sort of did more of a horizontal layout strata so to speak to match those stones there now we're gonna probably move these plants here to bed number three that was just recently put in and this uh, Alice oak leaf hydrangea will go right there. Moving plants is not a big deal as long as you don't wreck the root system and you make sure you water them in quite well. Uh, these plants and the other new bed of plants, oh, in the past three or four days, they've probably gotten, I would say, five or six hours of watering so hopefully that'll do good now I talked about in my earlier videos about how uh, the people that put in this rock wall for us when landscaping was done well they weren't exactly <laughs> gifted in building a rock wall you can just see here that they just sort of threw things together and some of these stones are so big they were put in with a backhoe and three or four guys wrenching them around um, <clears throat> I'm never going to be able to move them so I left it like it was uh, helter skelter but the other wall had stones small enough for me to move and I've got a nice pile of stones to work with and what I did was I removed all the stones and did some uh, vertical uh, landscape bed uh, tool uh, compressing I'll show you the tool I s pushed it into the ground in, in parallel strokes to break up the soil in the way I wanted and uh, then went back and did perpendicular cuts and this black thing you're looking at is called a bamboo barrier so my wall is going to be rebuilt along this bamboo barrier up to that big rock there, big rock over there where the landscape timbers are end at. Uh, the tool I used to, well the two tools I used to level out, remove stone, and uh, get this bed at a nice level, semi-level for easier stacking. The tool I used was first I used this guy. It's good for edging your beds, but I found it useful for breaking up soil and being able to easily get it out with this coal shovel this nice flat shovel which is great uh, for leveling things 
if I ran into a situation where a rock was really hard to get out, then a mattock is good for digging around the big rocks and for actually pulling against the rock to pull it out of the ground. Now, you'll see I have a wide range of stones to use, to pick from, to do this wall. And whatever stones I don't use, well, I'll just put them somewhere else in the yard. Uh, some of these stones, even at my age, there's no way I could pick them up. Some of these stones, even at my, at my age, it's easy to pick them up. So, a stone like that, I just left it alone. And that became the anchor for our new raised bed. So that's pretty much phase one of rebuilding the rock wall. Um, I'll talk about um, this wall construction later on. But uh, your basics for building a wall are pretty much the same when you're going to do dry stack. Well, I'm back out here in the cool of the evening after the earlier video this morning to uh, show you the progress. When I say cool of the evening, it's about 85 degrees stinking high humidity but I thought I'd get on this after supper there is the big rock that you saw earlier where the bed ends here's the unfinished part of the rock wall and here is the latest that I've done probably one two three four five six seven eight nine ten uh, 10 or 11 rocks there so you get the idea of a dry stack I use my trusty masonry hammer to get rid of some of the unwanted concrete oops sorry about the glove and uh, here's a close-up view of uh, what we've got going so far and as far as the uh, bamboo sticking up in the back, I may just throw some loose dirt and pack that in there. And then uh, pull the uh, bamboo leaves over the dirt. Uh, kind of like it looks right there. And it'll be fine. I'm a perfectionist, so... Okay. There's a little more. Two rather big rocks, and then probably seven or eight little rocks jammed in the back and in the front. Kind of hold it steady. I put my foot up against the newest piece there uh, to steady it, and it looks good. Now, again, I've got plenty of soil from all this soil that was dug out which I can throw up against this wall a little on the back and some on the front to uh, make it look nestled and like it's been there a while okay okay my next set of rocks are in so basically I see it as set of rocks one set of rocks two set of rocks three and here is set of rocks four so if this goes the way i think it's going to go we're going to have set of rocks five set of rocks six set of rocks seven set of rocks eight Set of rocks nine, set of rocks ten, 
and we should be able to finish off the set of rocks 11 and believe me I got enough rocks to pick from okay back to work back to the tomb okay set of rocks five are now in I like that and as is my trademark as I mentioned earlier in the video this is a good time for some vertical stones and then I'll tie them in on the other side with some horizontals just adds interest to everything oops excuse the glove okay we're back here day two and I finish one two three four five this is the uh, sixth section of rock right here. And there are my verticals, one, two, and three in the back. And I'm going to start on uh, section seven coming up soon. Alrighty. Okay. Here we are. <clears throat> this is... Uh, section of rocks number seven and it looks like we've only got <clears throat> enough room for two more sections maybe two and a half but it's coming right along okay here is uh section eight with a little bit of a bracing rock there in the front that I inserted and uh, looks okay what I'm gonna do with this new section of stone wall I'm gonna throw the excess dirt I had left over from uh, leveling this area and I'm gonna mix it in with some sand and I'm gonna throw it up against this wall uh, rinse it in level it out with sand and soil so it won't look so new sitting up on this uh, soil like it is and it'll look a little older and also I plan on let me see if I can show you this you'll notice in some of these other areas you've got uh, bamboo leaves and other whatnot that have fallen and uh, Sometimes they cover the uh, the bamboo barrier, come right up to the rock wall. I've got an excess of that left over. So after I get done with the soil and sand augmentation and rinsing that in, the same thing you do for steps, stone steps. Once I get all that uh, worked in to my satisfaction, then I'm going to scatter this uh, natural material over everything and it, it, it should even out that that rough uh, brand new rock wall look and uh, give it the appearance of age and we'll look at that later all right back to the last section Okay, the last section is up. Basically two big rocks and then two or three small ones beside it. And we are done. So the next thing is, I'm gonna get all these extra rocks out of the way so I can work on adding soil and sand. Signing off until later. Okay, like I said Here's the added dirt to the finished rock wall I'm gonna hit it with the water hose It's a dirt sand mix about 50 50 and uh, We'll add the uh, natural material later maybe after things dry but um you'll see what it looks like after i hit it with the hose
Well, like I'd hoped, the wall looks like it's been there a while. <clears throat> the sand and soil, a lot of it has gone down into the cracks. And I've washed most of the rock off. The rain will do the rest over time. And the uh, fresh dug soil area at the bottom doesn't look all fresh and dug. All it looks now is like a wet place. And this will all dry down nicely overnight and tomorrow. And I will add the uh, material here the dried plant material along the top and scattered hither and yon among the rock wall and that will be the final touch and I can take a uh, leaf blower to uh, blow away any that I want kind of sculpting with water and then sculpting with air and uh, there you have it, a nice new rock wall done section by section looking so, so much better than the old rock wall that was originally here. The pile of stones, I've moved to another area behind the house, out of sight, out of mind. All right, we'll tune back in later after I've done the uh, plant material distribution. All right, good morning, everyone. I told you the last step in this new rock wall would be adding some uh, natural material, uh, bamboo leaves, and other tree trash. I got a pitchfork, and I got that big pile up. And I very deftly sort of threw it up against the rock wall. And behind the rock wall and in front of the wa rock wall. It looks dark now, but uh, over time with the uh, sunshine and the high heat here in the southeast, all this will dry to a, a nice light color and it'll look more like that. So this brand new rock wall is going to look aged in and ready to go. I've decided against blowing it off with a leaf blower. I'm just going to let wind and rain and time uh, take care of that and here it is the new rock wall addition starting here and going around the corner towards the fence there it took me oh piecemeal, as my wife calls it, the salami method, um, probably two or three hours, the adding of the uh, plant material probably took me about 15 minutes. And I am done. So today's project, the other part of the new raised beds we added, was transplanting some plants. We're not completely done. We have another hosta to transplant. And we were fortunate enough to find a very nice Alice Oak Leaf Hydrangea, which has now been planted. And this will all be thoroughly watered in. for probably one to two hours of watering. 
and we will be good to go with our raised bed and rock wall combination one thing I didn't mention in my other videos it helps if you have a sort of a concave curve on your rock wall then it adds a natural place to put in a raised bed if you've got a straight rock wall you're probably going to have to come out with some horizontal sections on your landscape timber bed but there it is and like I said I softened the end of the landscape timbers with a couple rocks here which don't have too much verdigree on them but over time they'll get there they used to be buried in the ground in front of our mailbox but we took all that out take a little bit from here and a little bit from there yeah all these stones came from a raised bed rock wall that existed when we moved here uh, that was concreted together and I didn't like them at all so I just demolished them and spread the dirt elsewhere as needed and uh, repurposed the stones okay if you didn't learn anything well I hope you just enjoyed watching if you did learn something and got some tips then very good that's what these videos are all about feel free to leave comments ask questions I usually answer within 24 hours ciao well here's a quick addendum my wife likes rock walls to look more clean like these and uh, she really doesn't like what I did with the plant material on the new rock wall so once she gets done cleaning the porch she's gonna blow that crap out so her rock walls look cleaner she does not want to wait for the Sun and the wind and the rain to move things around she wants to do what she wants to do happy wife happy life okay post leaf blower here you go now my wife is happy directing every part of the operation <laughs> until she got it the way she wanted it so that's good and all that's left out here is to buy some mulch for the new beds to uh, mulch in our new plants probably go with cedar mulch because it lasts a long time it's got a light color so it'll add some nice contrast so our multi-day project is uh, just about done and it's only 10 12 in the a.m. and I'm sweating like a hog out here having done nearly nothing oh the glorious humidity of the south okay here's an update on the new rock wall that we talked about putting in just a few days ago pretty much all ship shape I cleaned up all the junk that I had laying back in the bamboo area so it looks a lot nicer we went to Lowe's and bought a pallet of broken bags about 90 some dollars worth and paid 24 brought them home in my car it's quite the load but there is our new raised beds with all the new mulch it's looking good some of these plants were transplanted from other areas 
in our yard where these hostas and such were getting too much shade. Um, we added mulch to an existing bed and uh, this plant here, don't even know what it is. It's got a tag on it, but I failed to read it. We just transplanted it from a bed in front of the house after we mulched freshly everything here. And um, I'm using the old soaker hose from our raised bed vegetable garden so that it is happy. Fall is definitely upon us. Here's all that's left of our raised bed. Uh, just one lonely basil plant or two. Uh, we'll be adding fall garden uh, goodies in this in the next few weeks okay so that is pretty much the final update on our backyard rock wall revitalization process the other thing we're going to work on and try and make happen is we have transplanted a little bit of moss from the stones here um, to try and grow and we ordered a grab bag of mulch from a seller on Etsy and we're gonna try and get some moss going my my dear wife's goal is to fill this whole area of Chapel Hill sand um, with uh, moss <laughs> so we'll see how that goes we spent 10 days in Santa Fe and my wife fell in love with turquoise so she has spray painted a um, planter stand and that's another project that's about to be done so that's it for the rock wall installation adventure. I hope you learned a little something I did.